I got granola in my teeth. Um, hello, I'm, uh, I need to sit still, okay. Hi, my name, my name's Steffi and I have cystic fibrosis, but most of you already know that. I've shared so much about it on this channel over the years, all the ups and downs, the life expectancy changes, the treatment that came out. But for anyone who doesn't know, I'll try to keep this brief. Cystic fibrosis is a progressive genetic disease that causes all sorts of problems, ranging from severe breathing problems, from chronic lung infections due to overproduction of mucus, to digestive issues which cause malnutrition nutrition, delayed growth, trouble gaining weight, and pancreatic insufficiency. At my sickest, I was spending months every year in the hospital on IV antibiotics, and when I wasn't in the hospital, I was usually on oral antibiotics, trying to fight the lung infections that were slowly killing me. I could hardly even walk up the stairs oftentimes due to my lung function being so low, although it didn't stop me from trying. Even at my sickest, I was fighting every day to live the best life that I could, but what many people couldn't see was how hard that was. Breakthrough drug was just approved for people diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. Huge breakthrough announced today for people with cystic fibrosis. For thousands of people living with cystic fibrosis, this is a life-changing news. It is Monday, November 18th at 10.23 a.m. and I'm taking my first dose. There had been some drugs released prior to this to help treat cystic fibrosis, but none really had that significant of an impact until Trikafta. Let me make something clear. Trikafta doesn't work for 100% of people with CF. I was one of the lucky ones that it did work for. And when I say it worked, I mean my lung function jumped from 30% to 80% in just a couple months, which meant for the first time I was able to move my body without coughing. I was able to absorb much more from what I was eating and I was no longer malnourished. My weight went up to a healthy and normal BMI easily and really quickly. And for the first time in my life, I was able to exercise. Here I was, taking deep breaths without coughing, feeling semi-normal for the first time ever, and I was determined to see how strong I could get with this second chance at life that I'd been given. When I was little, I tried all sorts of different sports, and I was fairly active until I no longer could be. In my early 20s, I would go to the gym here and there, but I was unable to do much and usually just wound up frustrated at my limited physical abilities. Once that turning point happened and I became normal, I was a little bit lost with where to go from there. So I just started trying things. I tried spin classes, I tried going on runs, I learned all about weightlifting from my friend AJ and slowly became kind of obsessed with moving my body. I'm going for a run even though I really don't want to, but I know that I'll probably have more energy once I do. Although I dabbled in all sorts of things, my first couple years on Trikafta were mainly focused on cardio. I was trying to get my lung function up as high as I possibly could. My lungs weren't and still are not anywhere near perfect. I have a ton of scarring from the years of infections. I have a weak spot in my upper left lobe that bleeds a lot. And my lung function is still low compared to your average healthy person. But despite all that, they're the best my lungs have ever felt since I was a kid so I decided to take full advantage of that. I did it. Filming myself running is the most awkward thing in the world. I became obsessed with my exercise bike. I started running 5Ks for fun. Can you believe that? Who runs 5Ks for fun? Only psychopaths. But that was me and that's still me. Simply because I wanted to push my limits and also because I wanted the cool medal. I don't run 5Ks unless there's a cool medal. Eventually I started adding more consistent strength training into my routine and that was when something clicked in my brain and I said, wait a minute, this, this 
is the best exercise, or at least to me it was. Although I started out with next to no muscle, I quickly became obsessed with seeing how much strength I could gain. I wanted to feel strong, both physically and mentally. I tried all sorts of strength programs, classes, apps. The one that I've found to be my favorite is an app called Copilot. It basically assigns you a personal trainer virtually based on your goals with fitness. The trainer builds you a custom workout plan tailored to those goals. So for example, I told my trainer that I wanted to gain muscle and develop a more consistent routine with progressive overloads. And I told her that I'd like to strength train at home with my dumbbells and resistance bands for one hour, four times a week. So she made me a plan that accommodated that. If I ever decide to join a gym again, she can change my workouts to work for that. It's super flexible. The workouts themselves are shown on my phone screen, so super easy to follow along with. And it doesn't leave me questioning what the heck I should be doing and it's also cool because I can message my trainer whenever and she answers all my questions like if I'm confused about form she sends me videos demonstrating it further if I'm having a day where I'm really not feeling great she can adjust my workout intensity for that day it's just great it's the best way I've found to reach my fitness goals because I don't have to leave my house I don't have to think too much about what my workout will be and if it's effective enough this app has been my favorite because it's helped keep me more consistent than any other app has and it's nice to know that there's like a real person rooting for me on the other side of the screen. And also Copilot reached out and asked if they could be the sponsor for this video which I was so so excited about because it's genuinely my favorite fitness app ever and it's something that I tell all my friends about. Something I think speaks for itself is that over 75% of Copilot clients continue to work out after 100 days. I have a hard time sticking to things unless I really enjoy it, but Copilot has been really motivating for me. So when they reached out and offered to sponsor, I was like, heck yeah, absolutely. So if anyone's interested, there'll be more information in the description. But anyways, this is where I'm at now. My current routine consists of strength training four times a week and just doing whatever the heck I want for the rest of the week. My current routine also consists of being able to run upstairs, carrying heavy bags of groceries, and doing random construction on my house. It consists of dancing a lot, terribly, just because I can. Breathing, what a concept. I love it. So what motivates me? I don't like to do things unless I have a strong why. If I don't have like why the heck am I doing this that is really clear and defined, I won't do it because I don't want to waste my energy on something that isn't worth my energy, you know? My desire to become the strongest I've ever been simply because I can now is my biggest motivation. I think a lot of people take that for granted and I hope that by sharing a little bit more of my story regarding health and fitness that it'll inspire somebody out there to appreciate their body a little bit more. Some days I wake up and I'm in a lot of pain and today is one of those days. So I'm dressed like this for my workout and it's probably not going to be my best workout but I'm going to do it anyway because I made this promise to myself that I would stick to being consistent so even on days where I don't feel the best I still try my best. So that's what I'm doing. Other things that motivate me, my mental health. My mental health has been all over the place since starting my new life. That is a whole story within itself, but the thing that's helped the most with keeping it relatively stable is exercise. On days that I move my body, I feel more connected to myself, and when I feel more connected to myself, I'm able to be more present with the world and people around me, so it's like everyone wins. This was not the best outfit choice to be sweating in, but I did it. <laughs> Longevity also motivates me. I shouldn't be alive right now. If Trikafta didn't come out when it did, 
I probably wouldn't be alive right now, but I got a second chance at life. With that, I am determined to push the limits of how healthy I can get. I want my body to be as strong as it can be so I can have the best fighting chance of living a long life, no matter what sort of obstacles come my way. Being there for others motivates me. I want to be able to show up as my best and strongest and healthiest version for everyone in my life. All of my friends, my animals, my family. I've got two silly boys to care for and lots of friends who deserve my best energy and I want to be with these people that I love for as long as I possibly can. There's a part of me that feels kind of weird making a video about fitness and I almost didn't do it because I know I'm not like super muscular and I'm not like a bodybuilder or anything crazy. I'm just a girl talking about fitness who used to be dying, <laughs> but I don't think that matters because the thing is building muscle takes years and years and I started with like next to no muscle. I was like skin and bones when I was really sick. So it's taken me a little bit longer to just catch up to the average person, but I think that's okay. I can still talk about my experience without having to be an expert or a bodybuilder or a trainer or anything like that. I'm just a human talking about my human experience. So what the hell's the point of this video? The point is a different perspective. Many of us have been taught throughout our lives that exercise is some annoying thing that sucks that we should do to be skinny or to look a certain way. And what many people don't really think about is what a gift it actually is to be able to move at all. We were born in these weird flesh suits and we're never gonna have this body again. So why not see what it's capable of? If you're physically able to exercise, don't take it for granted. As someone who used to not be able to do a lot of physical things, I cannot stress how excited and grateful I am to be able to do so much more now. And my hope for anyone watching this is to inspire you to love and appreciate the body you have a little bit more. So get out there and move if you can. I highly recommend it. And thank you again, Copilot, for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description below this video to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. That's all. Bye!